Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the McAfee Web Advisor, which is a free extension provided by McAfee. So you might be familiar with the McAfee software. Well, they also have a Web Advisor tool that's been around for a very long time. You know, I, I know I personally used it a very long time ago. I haven't really used it recently, but uh, since web browsers have gotten a lot better with security settings and download protection, I've noticed that, you know, the extensions, you don't necessarily need a ton of them necessarily to achieve what browsers have just naturally or natively added as new features over the years. But some people still like WebAdvisor. Um, I don't personally have much of an opinion on it. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install it. If that's why you're searching up this tutorial. So I'm going to have a link in the description of the video directly to McAfee's website here. You probably can find this through the web extension store as well, wherever your main browser is, whether it's Microsoft Edge or Chrome. It should be a Chromium-based extension, so it should pretty much work for most web browsers, you know, regardless. So we're going to go ahead and select the free download option. Again, this is on McAfee's website here, McAfee.com. And you can see they're advertising it as such on this page. So go ahead and just select the free download button. Again, more likely than not that they incorporate certain features in here that they're trying to push their paid software solution. So just if you're kind of wondering why it's free, nothing's really free in this world, but I mean, you kind of get the point for that. But anyway, should say Verify Publisher McAfee. So go ahead and select yes. And then go ahead and click the install. You're agreeing to the end user license agreement and then select install and select done. Now at this point, just go ahead and restart your computer. Now, if we go open up Chrome, for example, we can go ahead and actually enable this extension. So you just had to restart your computer and give it a moment. As you can see, it is installing or has been installed on our browser here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. If you ever want to remove it or disable, you can do it just like you would any other extension. You just can go underneath Manage Extensions and then either disable it or remove it altogether. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.